of binoculars. Good evening and welcome to Marciano Stadium as the Brockton Lady Boxers take on the Durfee Hilltoppers on an overcast but decidedly dry uh, Tuesday evening. Uh, I am your host, Eamon Convey, alongside Jay Miller, uh, and we're here for this big three division game. Uh, both teams really in need of a win here tonight, Jay. The boxers come in with a record of 1-1-1, one, one, and, one, and the Durfee Hilltoppers come in at 1-2-0. and zero. Obviously, both teams looking for a division win here. Uh, they, this is both, for them, their first league games, and a very important one at that. What do you think are the keys to the battle this evening? Well, getting off to a quick start tonight, Eamon, will be key. Uh, Brockton, uh, it is a home game, but it's a it's a big one for both teams. It's a swing game uh, with three teams in the in the in the league in the conference, the Big Three. Uh, every every game is critical. Every league game is critical. Uh, we're looking for a fast start, and uh, we'll see how it comes out. Uh, it's been early early in the season. Both teams have uh, struggled at points. Um, with uh, Durfee coming off a big win, uh, their most recent game against Somerset, uh, they're looking to keep the momentum going. Absolutely, and uh, and for Brockton as well, you know, they won one and one. They're looking to win the division uh, this year, as is Durfee. Uh, both coaches expecting a lot from these teams, and I think we'll get a, a good sense of where both squads are at after this one this evening as the uh, players come out to meet each other, and this game is about to kick off. Durfee in the red, and Brockton High in the home whites here at Marciano Stadium. Referees just making sure everything is uh, all set to go. They're pointing for the center dot, and here we go. As Jen Caruso takes the ball about midfield, moving down to Michaela Robinson. And now we have Ari Sylvia on the outside, looking inside, good defense there by Durfee. Gets the ball back, looks to cross it. Oh, and it just goes right over the head of Jeanne Silva. Uh, who had a chance there in the middle, right in front of the keeper, but just unfortunately was not able to get her head up high enough. Throw in here for Brockton as they move the ball back a bit. Aaron Pass gets down to Jen Caruso, who turns and looks for an opening. Brockton very patient in this, uh, in this opening few minutes here, moving the ball around, getting all their players a touch, letting everyone get a feel for the game. And we have uh, number 15 for Durfee. Amanda Almeida kicks it out of bounds and it will be a Brockton throw in uh, down by the Durfee end here. Encouraging sign, uh, the spacing is really nice by the Lady Boxers. And uh, as you said earlier, they're moving the ball quite well. Yep, so it ends up going out of bounds here and Durfee is gonna have a goal kick, but uh, overall, you got to like what you see if, uh, if you're a boxers coach, Edmir De Silva. Uh, players, like you said, Jay, really working the ball around, uh, helping each other out, making sure everyone gets a touch. Uh, the passes have been a little, a little insufficient, we'll say, thus far, but you know that, that could be worked out. As there's a pretty nice goal kick here, and it's controlled by Ariana Almeida, who gets it up, and it's now kicked out of bounds by Durfee on the far side. Amira De Silva, first season as uh, the Lady Boxers head coach. Uh, Andrea Tassinari, who uh, has done a great job with the program, uh, is on maternity leave. Yeah, nice, uh, nice fill-in by De Silva. That's always a difficult situation uh, for anybody who uh, has gone through something like that. We wish uh, Miss Tassinari the best with her new child. And uh, Brockton High is, uh, you know, is going to continue on under uh, under De Silva as Durfee outs the ball. Uh, Brockton's defense doing a good job here of sort of controlling the, uh, the pace of play and keeping it in, uh, in the attacking half uh, as they get it out of bounds now when we have a throw in uh, from the far side. Out of the scrum comes Ari Sylvia, captain for the boxers, and it is uh, defended by Durfee out of bounds. Boxers with the throw in on the far side and pretty good defense there by Durfee as they're able to head it back out of bounds. So we'll retry that again. Nice little throw in there to Erica Santos. 
and there's a ball down the right side of the field. Michaela Robinson again with nice speed, but she just can't catch up to it. That looked like a good looking play, Jay. Absolutely. It looks like they, uh, they've they found some holes in the Durfee, uh, the left side of their uh, their defense, and they're, uh, they're really attacking that side of the field. More action down the right side, decidedly, than, uh, than the left, but nonetheless. Uh, and Brockton is back with the ball again as Laura Andrade passes up over to Jen Caruso. Caruso maneuvering to the middle. Oh, almost a deflection as Brockton chases the ball down. That's Ari Sylvia. A lot of hustle there. Getting it back up to the middle as Durfee swarms her. She's looking for a player. Finds one Maria Del Pico as it's cleared back out by Durfee. Uh, but again, Brockton really doing a good job of keeping the ball in, uh, in Durfee's half and really making them work here as, the, as Durfee clears it down the field once again. And Elizabeth Buckley goes down to retrieve it, but unfortunately kicks it out of bounds, and it will be a Durfee throw-in uh, by Savannah Mello on the far side. Uh, she is, works the ball to the middle, but again, there is the Brockton high D to kick it out of bounds. Throw in here on the far side of the field for Mello. That's a high arcer, and Elizabeth Buckley is able to clear it out with a swift kick. Uh, Michaela Robinson passes it off to Maria Del Pico. And Durfee is able to defend it and get it back to half field where Mello has the ball on the far side. Now we have a run coming down here for Durfee, the goalkeeper coming out. Oh, nice save there by the Brockton goalkeeper, Tori Viola. Way to cut down the angle there and make sure that uh, the shooter did not have a good lane to look at. And she boots it up to half field here. Uh, Durfee is moving the ball. Uh, Brockton is able to jump them a little bit, gets the ball at half field. Uh, that was a good look for Caruso, but the defender from Durfee was able to step in. And here we go, Durfee getting down there again as you have Elizabeth Buckley in chase, and she's able to, ooh, get there with an aggressive tackle. Nice play by Buckley. As Brockton is able to get the ball back out to the half line, and now controlled going on by Michaela Robinson. Uh, ooh, and she gets an interception there, running up the right side. Looks like she has a little bit of an angle. Good pass to Caruso. Nice little touch play. Let's see if they can put it together. Oh, good defense by Durfee there. Really good defense in front of the keep to get it out. Caruso is making some early plays. She's making things happen. Uh, she, she's a ball hawk. We've been hearing Caruso, Caruso, Caruso. Uh, she has some talent. When that ball's on her feet, she's dangerous. Absolutely. Quite a fan favorite and probably could have gave chase for that ball, but may have been off sides in the process. And uh, now it is Tori Viola to, oh, excuse me, it is Shaylin Carrero to kick the ball out as Brockton High gets it, working back down. Ari Sylvia into Caruso in the middle. Nice little touch with the shot, and it goes in. Great finish by Caruso. She will not be denied tonight. She's a woman on a mission tonight. That was, uh, that was impressive. Uh, the ball seems to find her, and when, when it does find her, she makes things happen. That was impressive. Great effort. Great effort by the goaltender as well. Uh, just uh, Caruso just had a little bit, a little bit too much on it. As with her counterpart, Shaylin Carrera really tried to cut down the angle out there, but Caruso would not be denied. The keeper ended up getting a piece of it, but the spin turned the ball back into the net. 1-0 boxers here with 33 minutes remaining in the first half for an early lead as Durfee uh, looks to sort of regroup and uh, figure something out. Brockton still seems to be able to control the play uh, quite well here as Laura Andrade's on the, uh, on the outside looking for Michaela Robinson, but actually taking it herself, looking for a cross at this point. And Caruso is just a touch late as Shaylin Carrero is able to make uh, yet another save. They've, Brockton High, they've kept the ball in Durfee's end and they have kept uh, Carrero extremely busy this evening so far. Brockton has a speed advantage. Uh, they have they have some um, young women with some wheels, and uh, they're putting a lot of stress on that defense. 
Absolutely. Even the plays that don't pan out and, you know, end up like Caruso's did, they're still doing a great job of making these little runs in behind the defense and, and using touches on the offensive side to sort of let other players get into position. You know, and that's really all you can ask for. Soccer's a team sport, and you've know, you got to have everybody involved in order to play well. The Brockton boxers appear as though they have that going tonight. Ooh, that looks like it may have been a missed foul there, but uh, everybody's all right, and Durfee kicks the ball back out to the half line where Brockton can control it. Uh, we're going to have a throw in. Uh, it ended up going off the Lady Boxers, so we're going to have a throw in over here uh, from Savannah Mello, uh, who gets it in to Courtney Cabral. Uh, controls it down the sidelines Ooh. to Sabrina Souza. Oh, wow, very nice move there by Souza, and she's on a run, but the keeper's going to get there. Just a little too much mustard on that pass from Durfee. I have to keep an eye on her tonight. Uh, her ball skills are incredible. Uh, she uh, she single-handedly got it got it down that field, and uh, in some space, she could do some damage. Yep, we have a uh, foul call on the Broxers now. I believe that was Maria Del Pico uh, with the infraction. So Durfee's going to get the ball just outside of the uh, boxer logo here at Marciano Stadium, right about the 45-yard line for your football fans with a a nice kick uh, down for a header by Jordan Govin that uh, that just sort of floated past uh, the outside of the cage. No real danger there. Uh, and we'll have a goal kick for the freshman, Tori Viola. i got to be honest with you. For a freshman, she's playing extremely well. Not sure where she, uh, where she played before this or what team she was on, but obviously she had a good coach there. Her, uh, you know, her goalie... Um, instincts are uh, are very good and they've been on display early in this game well Brockton Brockton does have a strong youth soccer program and uh, yeah coming in as a freshman in a school this size uh, obviously she has some talent and uh, she's shown it off tonight yep if they you know if usually upperclassmen you know get the starting role if you start as a freshman on a varsity team the you know you're you're obviously doing something right as Caruso uh, corrals the ball down the left side here Brockton's still pressing a bit, uh, you know, constantly moving the ball forward. Uh, we got a Durfee player slow to get up here, but it appears as though Hannah Souza is in fact all right. Uh, nice little battle going on down here on the close side between Mindy Ferreira. Uh, she's able to get the ball out. Oh, and a push from behind by Ariana Almeida. That was a pretty, uh, pretty. Uh, no, we won't say out of control, but that was a that was a fairly uh, aggressive play there, and she's uh, she's been not carded, but you know she's been booked for the infraction. Yeah, I'm surprised it wasn't a card there. She she ran her over. <laughs> she ran her over. <laughs> you know, and from behind too. Generally, you know, if, they, if the other player has a, a chance to sort of get out of the way, you know, the referees will take that into account. Obviously, not the case here. Uh, as Durfee is uh, controlling the ball fairly nicely. Good looking ball skills here from Durfee. I, I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed with the, uh, with the footwork of some of these girls. Uh, but uh, they just, they haven't been able to press it into Brockton's half and that, that's gonna be critical uh, for the rest of this game if they, if they wanna be able to score a goal here. Brockton is just... Oh, and that's, that's a nice looking ball down the sidelines. We got a speedster and she's getting close. Oh, and what a nice shot into the bottom right of the goal. Tori Viola came out to cut down the angle again, but this time Sabrina Souza would not be denied. Good ball skills on display before, and now she has gotten herself a goal. Tremendous play by the Helltoppers there, Jay. Wow. She is, uh, she's a talent. Uh, this, uh, Sousa and Caruso uh, have stood out in the early part of this game. Uh, they've come as advertised, and uh, that was impressive. Showed some great speed and uh, a great finish. Just a really nice play there. Actually, you could see her putting her arm up uh, to get the ball uh, sent to her down the field, and that's exactly what happened. And uh, she, you know, once she got close, she would not be denied. As Brockton uh, kicks the ball out of bounds here, Durfee will have a throw in, directing uh, one of the players down the field. Good poise by Durfee. Uh, they, they had that initial onslaught where Brockton was just throwing a barrage of shots and uh, pressure on them, and uh, they kept their poise, and we're tied up 1-1. Yep, throw in on the near side here for Durfee as, uh, as a cluster of players. The ball is controlled at first by Durfee, and then 
Janae Silva uh, playing some keep away over there on the right side. She's able to find Ari Silvia. Works it up to Caruso in the middle of the field. Makes a turn, but good defense there by the Hilltoppers, Hannah Souza. Uh, not sure of any relation between Hannah and Sabrina, but nonetheless, nice play. Uh, as Brockton will inbound the ball on the far side here. Overall, good pace of play so far. Uh, I'd say a very evenly matched game. Both teams are displaying uh, pretty good footwork and you know quickness to the ball. As here's another break uh, quickly for the boxers, Michaela Robinson, but it is uh, deflected away there by Jordan Govin. And back up, we have, a, oh, and there's an offsides call on Janae Silva, who is sneaking up the left side, but in the referee's estimation, a bit far offsides. Ball turned over to Durfee here as they'll give it a boot up the field. And it goes to Elizabeth Buckley, who sends it right back the other direction over to Caruso, looks to control the ball. Nice little move there to keep the defender off her. Caruso moving down the left side, gets past the second defender to the middle. Oh, and a beautiful one-timer there. Very, very nice save by Shaylin Carrero. And a long shot, what a goal! That was something out of FIFA. What a play right there by Ariana Almeida. Just mentioned her name before, and boy, does she make her presence felt. Just inside the box, I believe, hit the inside of the left post over the goalkeeper's head and trickled in. What an incredible, incredible shot there. That was a bomb, and the goalie wasn't ready for it. She didn't, I, she wasn't expecting a shot on net, and uh, she hit an absolute bomb. Mm -hmm. Strange angle to take a shot from there, but you know Almeida's got to feel confident in her abilities because I'll tell you what, it looked like she had done that once or twice before. As Durfee looks to recover here, now down 2-1, 25, 10 remaining in the first half. Uh, but like you said, Durfee, you know, looking looking pretty poised. Uh, you know, tough situation to be in. Uh, obviously, Brockton is a worthy opponent, and uh, you know Durfee is going to do everything they can to try and get back in this game. I'll tell you, that goal, uh, they had been working the middle of that field. It just, they hadn't been able to connect. And, and, and they kept going middle, and, and it paid off. As Durfee gets it down the field here, but pretty good defense by Buckley. Looked a little unsure of herself going after that ball, but was able to recover, fight it off to the corner, and kick it out for a Durfee throw in. Um, going back to what you said, I, you know, I think that's what happens when you work the middle of the field, as Brockton has done early in this game. Inevitably, the sides will open up a little bit for you, and... You know, usually you'd like to work the ball a little bit closer, but hey, if you can score from 16, 17 yards, then why not? <laughs> Buckley on uh, on defense here, running it up. She's got some room as she has Michaela Robinson up the side, and the pass goes a little bit too close to the middle as Durfee's able to defend it. Brockton uh, back on the attack as Yas Yasmina Teixeira, Gives the ball up the field, and Janae Silva giving chase, but just a bit too far out of bounds. You have to admire the stamina of soccer players. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you've ever played soccer even, but uh, you're up and down the field, and it's just nonstop. Uh, it, they, their stamina, the, the intensity that they have in a short amount of time to get ready for the season, the, the training regimen that they must go through uh, during the off season. Uh, just to be ready for game time uh, must be must be a lot of work that they put into it. Absolutely, Jay. I mean, there's there's no way you're running around out on this field for uh, you know 80 minutes if you're not in great shape. And uh, you know, I think soccer is one of those sports that doesn't get enough attention for the fitness level of the athletes uh, involved. As we have uh, what appears to be a little bit of a hold on on uh, Janae Silva. Uh, so she'll control the ball on the left side of the field here. Uh, Admir De Silva looking a little unsure of what the call was and you know why the referee wasn't letting them play on. But in any case, Silva gets it up to Sylvia. And she passes it down the field to no one in particular. And the Durfee defender uh, back there to grab it is Sydney Silva. Uh, Brockton, uh, Jen Caruso's got the ball here in the middle now, looking to make a run, as she almost always is. Uh, but good def good defense there by Durfee, as uh, Maria Del Pico for the Lady Boxers controls it up the right side, and we would have had another offsides call. But uh, 
Yeah, Durfee did a nice job there. They really closed his space on Caruso. Um, you, you're going to probably see that during the course of the game. You know, the, the coach wants to make sure that uh, Caruso is well covered. Excellent move there by Durfee, and I believe that is Isabel McDonald uh, able to control the ball out on the right side there uh, with great footwork, actually. Ooh. Let's a rip off, but just outside left of Tori Viola's position in net. Uh, Durfee, you know, give them credit. They have not rolled over yet. Uh, they're still continuing to fight, and, you know, they're, they're po they look poised to score a goal here. Yeah, you can tell this, this is a fighting group. Um, had an opportunity to meet the coach briefly earlier, and uh, speaking very highly of, uh, of, of her team, um, how they, they have skill, but they really work and work and work. And that's all a, coach, a high school coach can ask for. Absolutely, as we uh, have some substitutions here for the Lady Boxers, uh, Amanda Almeida is on. Uh, in the def uh, she's actually appears to be in a forward position, although she's listed at defense, that's interesting. Uh, and uh, Megan Mulholland has uh, checked in at the left forward position as Jen Caruso, just putting on a clinic out here with her feet and her wheels, gets by into the newly in Megan Mulholland, and oh, she's just unable to corral it on the left side of the field after a nice pass from Caruso. Over Mulholland's head as uh, Durfee is really working here, still playing aggressively uh, in their end, not letting the boxers uh, get, any mo get any more momentum than they've already had, uh, despite Brockton's ability to continue pressure uh, inside the zone. As the ball sort of batted around here, Durfee comes out with it, kicks it to midfield, out to where the boxers are waiting on it. Durfee seems to be very packed in their own end. They're not, uh, they're only extending when they have a perfect uh, option to get out on the break, whereas, you know, maybe a little bit more movement up the field would sort of help them kickstart this offense. Brockton has a decided advantage. You're right. Uh, they have a decided advantage. They're working their way up the field, uh, getting everybody involved. Uh, Durfee oftentimes during this first half is once they've gained possession, they're just looking to clear it at certain points. Yep, with a 2-1 lead, it's, it's hard to blame them for simply playing it safe a little bit, but at the same time as we've seen in uh, many other games, you know, the second you let off the gas is, is the second that you, know, you can sort of get scored on again as Brockton's making a decent run down here, looking for Caruso in the middle. Uh, Durfee is able to kick the ball back to uh, right about halfway, but Brockton is back in, and boy, that was uh, that was quite a kick there by Maria Del Pico. Didn't end up getting on net, but uh, showcasing the very strong leg that she undoubtedly has. Be interesting to see during the course of this game, uh, Durfee's stamina, if they can hold up. This, this pressure has been very intense. Uh, Brockton has kept a, a very good pace up, and the defense is really putting some great stress on the defense. Yep, and Durfee, they, like you said, they've been working hard uh, all evening to this point. Boy, nice uh, nice aggressive play there by Megan Mulholland. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get her leg around and poke that ball free. But uh, if, if you're De Silva, you like to see your substitutes coming in off the bench and making an instant impact, and certainly Mulholland has done that thus far. Yeah, that's good to have depth. Uh, you know, rotating people in early in the game, we're not, we weren't even – halfway through the first half and uh, you know he had he had the substitutes come in so it's a testament to their depth and his trust in his players yep when you're rotating deeply uh, in soccer you know especially when you have stars you have stars and those are the ones that play but like you said when you're able to bring uh, some depth off the bench that's only that's only going to help you nice defensive play there by Buckley as Isabel McDonald was poised to make a little run Durfee controls it back in their half pushes it forward, and again, Brockton puts it back into Derby's half where the ball has been the majority of the game. Nice look there for Caruso. She cuts it back to the middle, keeping the defender off her, and that was a, that was a very good defensive play down there by the Hilltoppers to get in front of that without committing. Caruso back on, though. Another shot just wide to the left. Boy, Shailen Carrera has got to be saying, thank the Lord that went wide. That defense looks gassed. Uh, Jen Caruso is putting on an absolute show. Uh, they're going to be dreaming about 22 tonight. The, the oh, <laughs> dreaming or having a nightmare, you know, I'm not really sure which. <laughs> yeah, right. Wishing they could play like her, saying, thank God we don't have to play them for a couple of weeks. But uh, Caruso really using her speed and, uh, and size advantage, too. She's, you know, she has, 
she's got some good muscle on her and she's able to sort of get the position that she wants uh, as the ball comes into Mulholland, uh, playing it right along the sidelines here. Uh, and into the middle, Yasmina Teixeira over to Maria Del Pico. Uh, and Durfee's able to clear the ball again, but you know, every time the ball is cleared out of Durfee's end, you look up and there's four white shirts there for Brockton, and there's maybe one, uh, and that is uh, Isabel McDonald, who has uh, been making a lot, of, a lot of plays happen up there, but I think she needs a little assistance uh, from the forward position from the Hilltoppers. As uh, Brockton is able to stretch the field a little bit here, right around mid, back over to Mulholland, looking for Caruso in the middle, but the pass was just a bit out of her reach, and the Hilltoppers will have a throw in uh, from right in front of their bench. Some positioning issues out there. But the Hilltoppers have the ball in, and again, possession. Ooh, nice move there by Aria Silvia. And uh, apparently she was a bit unhappy with the positioning of her teammate, but uh, nice footwork nonetheless. Be a throw in for Brockton here. Yasmina Teixeira uh, over to Mulholland, who attempts to control it. But that was actually very nice defense uh, by Jordan Govan of the Hilltoppers. As Caruso in the mix once again over to Ari Silvia. Uh, outside wide to Nadia, Nadia Cord Cardoso. Excuse me. She controls the ball on the far side of the field. Uh, looking in for a forward to pass it to, but it's intercepted back to the Hilltoppers. Nice touch there. Uh, and back to her defenders as she airs it out in the direction of McDonald, who actually controls the ball with four, uh, four Brockton defenders right around her, uh, but alas, cannot uh, do anything with it. And Elizabeth Buckley clears it up to Jen Caruso. She's got a runner on the right side. Will she take it or take it herself? She shoots and she scores. Jen Caruso is putting on an absolute clinic right now at Marciano Stadium. This girl cannot be stopped. You see a little bit of frustration there from the Durfee defenders. Quite honestly, I don't know if they had anybody else out there if they could stop her. This girl's on a mission tonight, Jay. Uh, she's taking this game completely over. Uh, it's her game. Uh, Durfee, they have their hands on their hips right now. Uh, they look a little tired. And uh, that, that was a tough one. That was a tough one for them. Uh, she's just too talented in the open field. They're trying their best one-on-one -on -one defensively. They're staying in front of her. They're bringing defenders from the weak side, uh, from the strong side, from behind, from every position they can bring an extra defender. And yet Caruso just continues to do what she wants to do out here as far as scoring goals. Uh, you know, but give Durfee credit. Again, they come back. You know, they looked a little upset after that. And, you know, they're, they're – possessing the ball well here at midfield as there's an aggressive play and the ball trickles right to Caruso. She's just doing what she does, splitting defenders, looking out to the right. She's got a winger and good defense there by the Durfee defender to get the ball out of bounds after what looked to be a very dangerous play for the Lady Boxers yet again, already sporting a 3-1 lead. Just under 14 minutes uh, left to go here in the first half. And it will be a corner kick for the boxers uh, from the far side and that will be Caruso on the on the kick in and she's got a player right in the middle there it's Sylvia oh good defensive play there from Shailen Carrero that looked really dangerous Jay oh beautiful ball beautiful ball just couldn't get enough uh, enough leg on it but uh, <laughs> it's the Jen Caruso show continues Really unbelievable what she's been able to put together out here and really showcasing all of the talents that she truly has. That was a very, very well-placed ball on the inside. She can do it on her own, and uh, she can do it for her teammates as well. As uh, Durfee kicks the ball out of bounds here, and it appears as though Mulholland uh, will inbound it uh, just from about the goalkeeper's box extended. We're, we're at a critical point here. Uh, if, if Brockton can put another one on the board and, and go up go up three goals, I, I think that's a tall order to come back uh, down three against a team like Brockton who's putting so much pressure on them tonight. Especially when you have a player like Caruso who is making it relatively easy on her teammates in terms of what they have to do. Simply, it seems, give her the ball and she will, she will take the lady boxers to the promised land. 
Absolutely, and you know, it's a credit to the credit to the other lady boxers. They've moved the ball really, really well tonight, as you stated. Uh, they've they've done a nice job getting the ball up the field deliberately. Elizabeth Buckley able to get the ball away from harm as. Isabel McDonald really making an impact here for Durfee, boy. If they could keep getting her the ball up the field, she might be able to get this thing a little bit closer uh, for the Hilltoppers. And they're looking for her yet again as she calls for it down the sidelines. And it trickles out of bounds uh, for a throw in here by Tiana Brooks, who has just checked into the game for the Lady Boxers. Uh, I really like what we're seeing out of De Silva. Really no fear in using all of his bench, uh, rotating players in. Uh, you know, you hear the old adage from coaches all the time, play until you're tired and I'll get you out. Amir, Amir De Silva really seems to believe in that. Well, and that's great. Uh, being part of a team like that, knowing that you'll get playing time if you've earned it, uh, that keeps you keeps you motivated, it keeps you fresh. and, uh, and the internal competition on the team must be great. Those practices must be something to watch. You said it. That fire doesn't come from uh, doesn't come from just anywhere. Nice little play there by Durfee, but boy, you got to give Tori Viola credit. Boy, she just stuck her chin out there and grabbed that ball before the Hilltoppers were able to do something with it. Yeah, I like what she's done. She's uh, she's aggressive. She's not afraid to mix it up, and um, she's cut off some angles and made a couple of key stops. Huge, uh, huge play there for Viola, the lady boxer's goalkeeper. And she's really, you know, like you said, she's got the chops clearly. She's not afraid of a little contact and knows that if she uses her body positioning correctly, she's going to be better at what she does. You like to see that from a young player. That's a really nice move there by Yasmina Teixeira. Splits two defenders after wrapping around the backside. Uh, looking for a ball down the field to who else? Caruso uh, kicked out of bounds, and Teixeira is going to inbound it here again. Uh, looking to, looking over that side for is Caruso. We got a call here from the referee. We've had a couple of occasions where the referee's put his hands up and everybody's looking to. Sort <laughs> to of wondering what's going on, including the players and coaches. Uh, we've been talking about Caruso and obviously she's putting on a show, but uh, man, the skills of some, of some of the Brockton players, very impressive. Very good, very good skills, and uh, again, working well as a team. You said it, moving the ball from player to player and knowing when to hold it, knowing when to get them away. As a deflection here by the boxers, a shoot and a score. Jamari Johnson, the left-footed howitzer, past the goalie, Carrero. And this one is getting away from the Hilltoppers quickly as it's now 4-1, to one, Lady Boxers. Off the left foot, that was impressive. I don't know if she's a lefty or if that was her <laughs> off foot. Either way, you gotta like what you're seeing if you're uh, if you're De Silva. As Durfee, uh, it's you know there's some hands on the hips here. There's nine minutes left in the half. You gotta wonder how much uh, how much motivation they have left. I guess we're gonna find out right now because they are gonna need a quick couple of goals here before half if they want to get in better position to win this game. And to their credit, the lady boxers look very poised, not getting ahead of themselves. We haven't seen much celebration, you know, cheering each other on, but really staying focused, continuing to talk on the defensive end and, you know, using their eyes and their feet accordingly. And, you know, you just, it's, it's nice to see when a team comes together like this if, uh, if you're Coach De Silva. Absolutely. And the, and the pressure they put on uh, throughout the game, I, I think Durfee, Durfee's uh, cracking a little bit. It's just been relentless. And, and Time and time again, they come down there. One thing I've noticed, even is, um, is what, it looks like one of uh, Durfee's strategies is is once they get possession, to kick it deep yep. and let their forwards do the work. Absolutely, as McDonald makes a nice run all the way down. But boy, great defensive play there by Maria Del Pico. I'll tell you what, she is not the tallest girl, but she knows how to use her size effectively. That's that's number three or four times that we've seen her get in front of a defender when perhaps she the offensive player had a step on her. Yeah, technically she's really sound. Uh, getting back to getting back to the deep ball, it, it looks like it's part of the, been part of their strategy tonight. Uh, once they gain possession, going deep. Durfee's forwards have shown some talent. And the Lady Boxers here are going to kick it off. It appears uh, Tori Viola was going to was going to kick it herself, but called in Ariana Almeida, uh, perhaps just to get a little more leg on it. Uh, shorter kick, but Almeida is able to clear it out once again. 
Uh, and Durfee calling for a handball, and they will, in fact, get it. It appeared as though the lady boxer could sneak by. Uh, that was not the case. As it's over to McDonald on the far side of the field, stops, turns around, sees the defender coming towards her, looks for a teammate, and really great defense there by Ari Sylvia. Stepped in front of that pass, realized it, was, it wasn't it was telegraphed. The pass just, you know, simply was intercepted. Uh, as the lady boxers looking for Caruso again, uh, have, it inter have it intercepted. And Maria Del Pico, boy, she she just pushed another girl down out there. She is playing re some really tremendous defense. One thing you notice about the lady boxers too, they, they use their eyes to communicate very well. You see one player bringing the ball up and you notice just from the back side that another player is, uh, is, is sneaking in just on sides uh, to get a run. You like to see that uh, from an offensive perspective. Yeah, they have good chemistry. You know, they, they have several returning players. Uh, it, it, it's evident that uh, that they've been playing for a while, and the nonverbal communication, that instincts, uh, that chemistry that so often is talked about, it's, it's definitely there uh, for the lady boxers. Also nice when your goalkeeper is stonewalling the other team as, uh, as Viola has done so far. That's got to give you a little confidence as Durfee uh, looking towards the middle here. Uh, player on the far side thought they might be offsides, and Brockton clears it safely out of bounds for a Hilltoppers throw in. And the designated thrower for the Hilltoppers is Mindy, Mindy Ferreira. Uh, she gets it in here, and it's yet kicked out of bounds once again. Uh, Ferreira will give herself another chance. As Brockton's able to control it, uh, Durfee gets, uh, gets a leg back on it. And the ball's being sort of batted around here. Uh, Durfee... Unable to control it as Sylvia gets it out by midfield. Really solid player for the Lady Boxers. Looking for their favorite target, Caruso, who, boy, I don't know. She she w might have been just a step faster. I think if she had just put her leg out in front, that ball would have been hers. Used her body a little too much in the referee's estimation, and that has brought a stoppage to play. And also what appears to be a talking to from the referee about her physicality. Or maybe he's telling her, you know, <laughs> Maybe she should let another player score a goal. <laughs> <laughs> now, I thought we were going to see a yellow card there, but I uh, told her to tone it down. You know, it's nice to see the referees using their discretion uh, and giving players a warning uh, before simply carding them. That's, I think that's, those are good habits to reinforce in players. You want them to be aggressive, but you also have to protect the safety of the other players on the field. Durfee out on the far side here. Oh, nice move as she splits the defender, walks in, shoots. Oh, and the ball goes just wide. Tori Viola looking back to see if that one was going to trickle in. And Isabel McDonald. Boy, I'll tell you, if uh, she is Durfee's Jen Caruso, she has been in on every offensive play, making great runs up the far side of the field, chasing down balls that are over her head. Uh, you know, and, and without without her, Durfee ceases to really have any offensive attack. She's been impressive. Uh, if she could get the ball more, get possession, of the, if they could get the ball to her and she can gain possession, uh, her skills take over. Uh, the, the problem is Brockton has shut down uh, that aspect of it. They haven't, they haven't been able to get the ball to her. Um, and as a result, they only have one goal. Doesn't make it any easier when you're playing from behind and, you know, the the lady boxers are sort of able just to pack three and four defenders uh, in their half and make sure that McDonald and company are not able to do anything, uh, which is exactly what uh, De Silva's team has done this far. Durfee throws it in on the far side. Nice, ooh, nice little move to herself as, uh, oh, tough, uh, tough break there for Jordan Govin. Made a nice play uh, over her head, got the ball back. Uh, and then uh, was tripped down, so we're going to have a free kick here for the Hilltoppers uh, from about the 20-yard line, about 20 yards out. Uh, lady boxers jumping in front, trying to distract her, maybe getting a little bigger so she doesn't, uh, she doesn't kick it over them. As she centers the ball, boy, that was a nice-looking free play. McDonald came through and touched it and then moved back through on the left side. Uh, to get in better offensive position. Just couldn't get the pass through to her. Uh, but the Hilltoppers were threatening there for a moment, and Maria Del Pico is able to clear the ball to about the 35-yard line uh, and get the Lady Boxers out of trouble for the moment. Yeah, Durfee hasn't had many set plays, but that one was nice. 
Uh, it was well coordinated, uh, pretty good execution. Um, they haven't had many opportunities tonight. Now they're, they're trying to make the most of what few opportunities they have had. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're Coach Kalenda for the Hilltoppers, uh, you like to see that. You like to see your team continuing to fight despite being down 4-1 as there's a nice interception there by Teixeira. Looks up for Caruso with a beautiful back heel over to Erica Santos, and the ball just goes a little bit too far, and the Durfee Hilltoppers are able to kick it out of bounds. Uh, that was Sydney Silva on the clear as Caruso tries to kick it off the Durfee defender. And it is now cleared out. Buckley keeps it back in the end of the Hilltoppers for Brockton. Uh, Laura Andrade getting it up there to Jamari Johnson, who scored that strong left-footed goal for the Boxers earlier in the game, but she's unable to do anything with it. And it will be a throw-in on the far side for the Hilltoppers. The ball moves up the field. Uh, the Hilltoppers control it out on the left, and that was uh, that was a pretty clear handball. Good job by the referee there to see that. Uh, as Brockton with the quick kick up to Caruso, who's in the middle of the field looking for a teammate, now controlling the ball, running after the errant pass, and able to get it out is Jordan Govin, keeping it along the sidelines. Nice little stop and go move there. She's by another Brockton defender. Boy, good hustle there for Govin. The Lady Boxers thought the ball was uh, out on Durfee. Alas, it was not, and they are back on defense as the pesky McDonald is down there uh, attempting to get in on the action yet again. Nice control there by Alexis Anselmo. Uh, over to J Jada Ferreira, uh, one of two Jadas on the Hilltopper team. Uh, Elizabeth Buckley, nice defense, but it, it, Durfee's in there. Gets it over into the middle. Nice touch there. Oh, and great defense by the Brockton Boxers. As Laura Andrade was able to get over there and get in front of the ball. That looked like a clear scoring chance for Durfee. Oh, another great play by the goalkeeper. Very aggressive. Came out, cut the angle down, and then the defense was able to help out. She's really doing a good job. She's not trying to do it all on her own, which is what you like to see. She's letting her defenders help her. She cut down the angle on the shot. Durfee player takes a nice touch over to the left side, and sure enough, Andrade's right there uh, to get in front of her and stop the forward progress of the Hilltoppers. It's four to one, but she's made three or four huge saves. This game, you're absolutely right, Jay. This game, game could be quite a different story uh, without Viola's brilliance thus far, and that did give up the one mark uh, earlier in the game to tie it at one apiece, but since then, all Brockton has done is give the ball to Jen Caruso, let her take them to the promised land. As Isabella, Isabel McDonald on the far side here, uh, cleared into the middle where two Durfee players are, but as is Yasmina Teixeira for the Lady Boxers. Cleared back out to the middle, taken on by Ari Silvia. Nice move up there. Nice back heel by Caruso. That's the second time we've seen her use that play. Silvia up the middle. Oh, and Jamari Johnson just a little bit off sides. Got to give credit to the Durfee defender there. Way to step up and, and let her pass behind for the offsides call. Yeah, it was a good move. Uh, man, Caruso, what a pretty play. She, as you said, she's done that a couple of times. It's been a pure pleasure to watch her tonight. Absolutely. The speed, the athleticism, the footwork, uh, the not the the touch passes really she's got the whole package and uh you know she's putting them all on display this evening here and we do have uh, some college scouts here tonight so i i'm i'm guessing uh, it might not be it might not be too much of a leap but they are they are uh scouting miss caruso you uh you could definitely say that and boy is she putting on quite a show for them i wonder if she knows the scouts are in the building uh, you know uh, athletes uh it, with her focus, who knows? Who knows? I'm not sure if the coach told her. It'd be interesting to, to find out, to learn. Maybe we can learn that at halftime. Absolutely. Take a, take a walk down there and have a conversation with Mr. De Silva and see if he divulged uh, that some scouts are going to be here and perhaps that's why Caruso is uh, playing on just a completely different level than the rest of the players out on this field. Uh, as we have a timeout here. Oh, and it is halftime uh, with the Brockton Boxers leading 4-1 uh, to one here over the Durfee Hilltoppers. 
Uh, we will be back with second half action in just a few minutes. Hello and welcome back to Marciano Stadium for the second half of the Brockton Lady Boxers against Durfee High School. Uh, we have a four to one game Brockton as Durfee starts off with the uh, with the ball, moving it up the field along the right side as it gets past Buckley, but good defense there by Ariana Almeida to control the ball and get it to the outside. Durfee's really gonna have to do something about Brockton's Jen Caruso. She's been quite a troublemaker all, the ga all game for the Hilltoppers. Uh, and she needs to be stopped if Durfee has any chance of coming back in this game. Uh, we have Brockton controlling it up the sidelines there. Hits the back of Michaela Robinson and is back to the Hilltoppers. Um, but Durfee, you know, looking to control the ball a little bit more here as it's taken away by Maria Del Pico. Gets it up to the captain, Ari Silvia, up to Jen Caruso the girl wonder for the Brockton boxers as she takes it to the right with a nice touch. Got a lane and that's a hat trick for Caruso. Puts it in the left side of the net. Boy, if you're a Shailen Carrero, you've got to be sick to your stomach. There's just nothing that they can do to stop her. Two goals quite easily in the first half and another one right here uh, for a, a grand old hat trick. And boy, if you're Caruso with, uh, with some college scouts in the stands, you have to be really, really happy with the game you're having for yourself. Uh, but more importantly, the Brockton Boxers are up 5-1 in their first uh, division game here against the Hilltoppers, and it is going quite well. If this is any indication of how the Brockton Boxers season will play out, uh, you will be very happy to be a fan of this team. Uh, they move the ball incredibly well, and uh, they've played with great poise today, especially from the likes of Caruso. As Durfee here on a little bit of a run, uh, we got a player in the middle there. It appears to be Sarah Normington as she is controlling the ball uh, and gets a really nice shot off, and it ends up hitting the goalpost behind uh, the keeper's net. And it will be a goal kick here for... Tori Viola, who calls in uh, Elizabeth Buckley to do the honors. Buckley, the uh, defenseman for the Brockton Boxers, probably most responsible for uh, the success that they've had uh, as the ball is kicked out to the far side and Nadia Cordoso has it go off her foot. Uh, the Hilltoppers throwing the ball in, a little bit of uh, back and forth between Amanda Almeida and, excuse me, Hannah Souza and Mallory Forcier. Uh, we'll have a throw in here from Mindy Ferreira, who has thrown most of the balls in tonight for the Durfee Hilltoppers. Uh, the ball is up to Caruso, who again makes a nice pass to the middle of the field. Ari Silvia with a beautiful little right to left move there to get around. Uh, and she gets it out to Yasmina Teixeira, who tries to get it to the middle. Uh, and the Durfee Hilltoppers are able to boot it back downfield uh, to the waiting Brockton defenders. Uh, Isabel McDonald, who has been quite a problem all game uh, for the boxers, has the lone tally for Durfee, uh, unable to control the ball, and it is finally kicked out of bounds by Mackenzie O'Reilly, newly in the game for the Brockton boxers. Here's a throw in on the side uh, from Mindy Ferreira. Attempts to get it to her teammate. It is again bumped out of bounds there by Maria Del Pico. Excuse me, Nadia Cordoso. Uh, back in here uh, to Alexis Anselmo uh, for the Hilltoppers. And finally cleared out of the zone by Maria Del Pico, who's waiting there, none other than Jen Caruso. Uh, she will have the throw in here, appears to have a lane up the middle. Decides to go short to Ari Silvia, who attempts to get it back to Caruso off the far side, no luck. Back down in the Durfee attacking half as Ariana Almeida, who has scored for the Bo Brockton Boxers, is able to get it out. We have a throw in here off an errant ball from Courtney Cabral. Gets it in, and Elizabeth Buckley kicks it high into the sky. Mindy Ferreira able to control it, gets it over to the middle for the Hilltoppers. Boy, Buckley is all over the field here. McDonald almost had another little run there, uh, and Buckley just simply said, absolutely not, not on her watch. Uh, as Durfee is able to control the ball again, Ari Silvia back with the ball. Boy, making a nice move there, and finally a stoppage uh, from the referee, much to the chagrin of the Brockton parents here. Uh, 
Uh, but uh, nonetheless, it did, it did appear as though there was a foul uh, on that play. Durfee gets the ball back in, and it is sort of bounced around over there on the near side by Alexis Anselmo. She kicks it over to the keeper, uh, Tori Viola, who now will boot it down the field for the boxers, right out to about half field to the waiting Sylvia. Uh, over on the far side there is uh, Janae Silva with a very nice controlling play, looking up the field for Michaela Robinson, who controls it, looking up for Caruso, who runs between two defenders, steals the ball, she's on the run again, shoots, and she scores a fourth goal. Can you believe it? Brockton boxers, six to one over the Durfee Hilltoppers, just over six minutes gone here in the second half. And boy, Brockton is really starting to piling it on. As with the rest of the night, the Hilltoppers still don't have an answer for Jen Caruso. This girl is absolutely on fire tonight. Any college scout uh, who's in the arena is gonna be very impressed with her effort thus far. She looks over to the sideline smiling. I guess that's what you do when you score four goals in a game. Don't know if uh, De Silva has any plans of taking her out here. I probably wouldn't, but given how successful she has been, Perhaps the rest is in order. Uh, the Hilltoppers bringing the ball back up the far sidelines, uh, controlling it on the right side, looking for an outlet, but not finding one. Unfortunately, there'll be a throw in after it's kicked out off of Brockton. Referee signaling where he wants Durfee to throw the ball in, uh, much to their dismay. Uh, they would like to throw it in a little bit closer uh, to the keeper for obvious reasons as uh, the ball is kicked back out and controlled by Alex Belanger. Uh, she boots it up the field. Waiting there is Jordan Govin doing good things in the first half. Isabel McDonald thought she might have a lane there uh, for Durfee. Unfortunately did not. And back up the field now uh, for Durfee. Still on the attack. Give them credit. They're down 6-1 here early in the second half, but still playing with, with good intensity. A uh, bit, bit of a crazy uh, sort of flop there by one of the Durfee players. Uh, the referee was not buying that. Nice ball down the sideline. It's going to trickle out of bounds, unfortunately, just outside the reach of Michaela Robinson. Uh, as Durfee and Courtney Cabral throw the ball back in. Uh, Michaela Robinson looking towards the middle for Jamari Johnson, who got a tally in the first half, uh, but it was not to be. Uh, nice aggressiveness here by the boxers. You got to like what you're seeing, continuing to push up 6 1. That's how you play aggressive soccer. You know, don't don't get back on your heels. Uh, they, you know, they their coaches obviously told them that they need to keep pushing. If you saw De Silva at the halftime, uh, pretty intense talking to his players, uh, despite the 4-1 lead, and obviously that's paying dividends now. Uh, as Durfee throws the ball into who else? McDonald, uh, unable to corral it, and now we have a throw in from Savannah Mello. Gets the ball in there. Buckley watching. Sylvia there as well for Brockton, and. Over to the middle of the field where Maria Del Pico is able to muscle through and get it out. She's got some space here if she wants to run. Jamari Johnson on the on the streak on the left side, unable to get it to her. Uh, was actually looking for Michaela Robinson down there on the near side right, uh, but was unable to find her. And Durfee is able to uh, well control the ball, but they end up kicking it out of bounds once again. So it will be a throw in uh, for the Lady Boxers. Uh, as uh, Sylvia is watching there. Nice little over-the-head move once again from Jordan Govin. Second time she's done that this evening. Buckley tries to get it over, and now it's headmanned up to Isabel McDonald and wisely signaled for the offsides. Ariana Almeida put her hands up just in case the referee didn't see that one. Uh, but she did, and now Brockton will take the ball. Going back the other way as Ariana Almeida sets up for the free kick about the 20 yard line uh, in Durfee's attacking half. Uh, the ball is headmanned up and Sylvia comes away with it here, controlling the ball with the defender behind her. Looks over to Nadia Cardoso. 
Uh, now back to the Hilltoppers looking, boy, they're, you know, they're trying the same little move in behind the defenders with McDonnell, uh, but keeping the ball on the ground during the pass, interesting. You would think that an air through ball perhaps would be the better play considering how Brockton is packing in uh, defensively given the lead as there's another throw in by Brockton here and a host of substitutes uh, are going to come on for Brockton. It appears to be a uh, four for four switch. Uh, so maybe maybe De Silva realizes at this point that he should get his star players and perhaps uh, Caruso uh, a bit of uh, a bit of rest here uh, as the Lady Boxers are up six to one, 29 minutes and change left in the second half. Uh, Sylvia with a nice run up the right side looking to keep the ball in bounds does headmans it up to Jamari Johnson uh, who's waiting up there and uh, that will go out of bounds for a uh, let's see for a corner kick it appears yep it's going to be a corner kick here for Brockton as we see a host of players coming off including the two captains Caruso and Sylvia, uh, as well as a couple other players for Brockton. Uh, Admir De Silva must feel at this point the game is fairly in hand and that you know the starters need to be rested like Caruso. I'd say four goals uh, might be enough. Jamari Johnson for the boxers looked like she may have a lane there, uh, but Shaylin Carrero uh, was able to step in front of the play and now kicks it back to half field uh, where her offensive players are waiting. Uh, it is kicked errantly back to Brockton, though. Amanda Almeida, this time again, not sure of the relation. Boy, tough play there. Mackenzie O'Reilly just took an errant kick off the head. She looks like she's all right, though, shaking it off a bit. And, uh, boy, good for her, because that was, that was a pretty hard kick. Uh, as Durfee inbounds it again, and once again kicked back out of bounds by Elizabeth, no, by Alexis Anselmo. Throw in for the boxers here. Given up the field, Durfee's able to clear it back out where O'Donnell is waiting, McDonald, but uh, the pass was not to be. McDonald controls again, looks to the middle, has a woman, and that ball is down too far out of the reach of the hilltopper forward and out of play for a Brockton throw in. Over on the far side, Yasmina Teixeira with a nice throw in there as Maria Del Pico has made quite a nice impact. Uh, gets the ball, gives it to Mulholland. Over to Erica Santos, just in the game. Mulholland, nice trap and control of the ball. Uh, over to Maria Del Pico. Uh, kicked around by the Durfee defenders a bit here with a, a short lead ball. Boy, and good, good uh, defensive offensive play we'll call that one by Mackenzie O'Reilly who is making her impact felt here in the second half on the defensive end for the boxers starting to become a chilly night you have to wonder if that is beginning to affect the players stamina obviously not for Brockton given the score but they now have some fresh legs out there Durfee keeping their stars in trying to get back in this one as the ball goes just out of the reach of uh, Isabel McDonald and kicked out of bounds by the Brockton defender. And back in play now. Down the field, running after the ball is Jordan Govin. Uh, and there was a whistle on the field there. And it appears as though it's going to be a throw in. No, it will be a free kick uh, from the left side of the goalie. Brockton is setting up a two woman wall. They're doing their usual jumping jack routine. Uh, Aaron, uh, that was a w ill advised shot there from the Durfee defender, Sydney Silva. Uh, but nonetheless, she took it. And Brockton is back with the ball now. They've got a three on three advantage. And Jamari Johnson was quite far offside. Just seems to be a little upset about the call from up here. That was quite offsides, if I do say so myself. 26 minutes left in the second half as the Brockton Boxers lead 6-1. Durfee controlling the ball as there will be a free kick from the spot of the offsides call. Durfee kicking the ball around a bit. 
And now on to Isabel McDonald, who has been quite the player uh, for Durfee this evening. Unfortunately for her, doesn't have more tallies, and un quite unfortunately for her team. Uh, the Brockton attack uh, and, and defensive presence really has been uh, solid, to say the least, in this, uh, in this contest, and uh, even more sound in the second half as Durfee is starting to push the tempo a little more offensively. You see them hawking the ball in the Brockton defensive zone and, and running two girls to the ball on every play as Jamari Johnson uses her body to shield off the defender there. And that was a really nice play. If only uh, Erica Santos had seen what was coming and kept running up that far left sidelines. That may have been a beautiful play. Uh, but alas, Santos gets the ball back on the far sideline and looks to slow it down. Oh, now it's passed out to McDonald who do, does her patented uh, turn around and look for a lane to move with. Uh, Brockton has numbers back defensively and great job running to the ball by Maria Del Pico. Boy, she has closing speed like you wouldn't believe. She has been in on every rush, whether getting the ball or not for the Lady Boxers and is really just causing Durfee a hard time and stopping them from getting their offensive sets uh, set up and moving. Uh, if you're Admir De Silva, uh, you have got to be really happy with the two-way play of Maria Del Pico, really doing it all for the Lady Boxers and coming in and playing big minutes at a very critical time in this ball game when Durfee is obviously pushing uh, to make a run at this thing. Uh, and the uh, Lady Boxer defense simply uh, will not allow it to this point. Uh, as we have a Brockton throw in on the near side, Amanda Almeida gets it in there to Yasmina Teixeira, now over to Mulholland. Gets it up the field a little too far. Durfee defender is able to corral it back. Mulholland's there, stiff defense. Oh boy, nice play there by Maria Del Pico. Once again, unable to complete it and get the ball through, but now she has the ball back uh, at half field. Looks over to Mulholland, nice trap there to slow it down. Looking ahead to Jamari Johnson. Uh, and we have a lady boxer on the far side there. She was unmarked. That would have been a very interesting uh, play had Del Pico, or Mulholland rather, given her a pass on the run. Uh, and now Durfee is back on the other end looking for McDonald, uh, but good defense there. Uh, by who else? Elizabeth Buckley standing tall in the middle and uh, providing great defense for the Lady Boxers in a time when they need it. And now Durfee has the ball back around half field and the Lady Boxers still moving aggressively towards the ball. Nice touch pass. Great lead pass there up to Souza and she is simply outrun by Elizabeth Buckley. Boy, great closing speed on that ball. Great instincts. Took steps towards it as it was moving away from her and was able to catch up uh, before Souza could get to it and ends up, uh, ends up kicking the ball out of bounds closer to the 50-yard line. Uh, throw in for Durfee here, looking towards the middle uh, as Alexis Anselmo kicks it, kicks it over towards the middle. Durfee looking for something here, and Brockton wisely just continues to kick it out of bounds and make Durfee throw it in on the sides where they can defend it a little bit better. Uh, Amanda Almeida over there defensively, controlling the ball, kicks it out once again. That's going to be a throw-in for the Hilltoppers over here on the near side as they get it in. Elizabeth Buckley there. Ooh, and that shot comes out wide off the post. Wow, what a tremendous stroke of luck there for the Lady Boxers as the ball trickled through past goalie Tori Viola. Uh, but alas, no issues, and it hits the post, rolls out to the middle, and is cleared uh, by the Lady Boxers. Uh, and now the ball has gone out of bounds once again for a Durfee corner kick. Lady Boxers continuing to play good defense here as uh, Durfee gets the ball into the middle with a nice header, but it trickles out to the left side of Tori Viola, and it will be a goal kick once again. Admir De Silva really... Uh, has, has gotten his team in a good position. Clearly it helps when you have a player like Caruso who is able to single-handedly uh, do what the entire team aims to do. Uh, but he has the rest of his ladies very well prepared for this game, and especially in this situation where it's easy to fall asleep. Uh, you know, it's easy to become complacent with the score. Uh, Brockton's staying aggressive, and Durfee, you know, still to this point has not 
uh, been able to put anything together really defensively. Uh, as Amanda Almeida uh, was trying to kick it out of bounds, and actually it ended up going off her anyway, so Jordan Govin uh, throws it in here. Good defense from Amanda Almeida. Um, Mackenzie O'Reilly now with the ball. Boy, she's surrounded by red shirts, but still finds a way to keep it. Uh, and the Lady Boxer is playing good defense here. As I said before, you know, just keeping keeping the ball out of bounds, not letting anything get to the middle. Besides that one shot that ended up coming off the post, really uh, no danger uh, to speak of for the keeper Viola thus far. Uh, and I'm sure De Silva will be incredibly happy with that. Uh, if you're Gina Kalenda, you know, this game, it's just a difficult one to swallow. Uh, you know, you, you must feel like there's really not much you can do. They were playing team defense on Caruso the whole time. She simply was just not to be stopped this evening. Uh, I wonder what she ate uh, for lunch before the game. I'd like some of that. As uh, Durfee up the field here and just continually good defense. Jamari Johnson down there has got the ball and kicks it towards the keeper. Slow roller. Carrero is able to corral it, and now she throws it out to restart the Hilltopper attack once again. As Megan Mulholland gives chase, uh, good speed shown there by Jordan Govin. Gets it to the middle for Alexis Anselmo, uh, and it's now kicked out of bounds. Govin will inbound it again. Has Anselmo in the middle, looking down the far side. Get, Anselmo gets ahead on it. Looks like it's going to stay in bounds here for Alex Belanger. Looking towards the middle, good defense there by the Lady Boxers, and it is cleared out by Yasmina Teixeira. Boy, hard kick there from half field uh, by the Hilltoppers. Not really sure if that was what Coach Kalenda was looking for. Uh, perhaps you want to take that in a few more steps and see if you can uh, make an offensive play of it rather than just taking an errant rip uh, from nearly half field. Uh, as the... Durfee Hilltoppers set up for a corner kick on the near side. And into the middle and out of, out of harm's way. And a nice little kick there from Jordan Govin uh, from the goalkeeper's left side. But unfortunately, it sailed uh, to the goalie's right and, uh, and past the net. As we have a substitution here for the Hilltoppers coming back into the game is Courtney Cabral. And coming off the field with a slight limp is Alexis Anselmo. She's sort of shaking her leg out. Don't know if she tweaked something out there. She's been running pretty hard uh, in the mix with a lot of these plays. And um, Durfee's McDonald is over there to throw the ball in. Gets it in, looking towards the middle. And McDonald once again is offsides. Boy, she is really trying actively to get behind the Brockton defenders. But they're doing a good job of continuing to step up and letting, uh, letting her get behind them for an offsides call. As the Lady Boxers control the ball again, Yasmina Teixeira with a nice play out to about the 50-yard line. Durfee controls, turning around, looking for another defender. Coming to the near side here, uh, looking for Mindy Ferreira, who will now throw the ball in. Gets it down there to Jordan Govin, who skies it towards the middle with her patented over-the-head kick. Uh, Hannah Souza now with the ball. Looking down the field for Courtney Cabral, and there defensively for the Brockton Boxers is Ariana Almeida as the ball trickles to keeper Tori Viola. She corrals it and is now looking down the field as the Boxers look to go on the offensive again. Stretching out her quad down there is Almeida. Don't know again if she tweaks something uh, down there on the field, but she seems to be all right, not laboring at all, you know, just flexing her leg a bit. As Brockton goes on the attack here with Jamari Johnson, just out of her reach, but Brockton, three, three offensive players down there continuing to hound the ball, not sitting back on their haunches. Mulholland and Jamari Johnson almost come together there as Mulholland corrals it and gives it back to the Durfee defender. Nice play there by Mulholland. Way to recover and then get back on the ball with a nice back heel to give herself some space. But credit the defense of Mindy Ferreira there who stopped it. Now running up the field for the Hilltoppers is Courtney Cabral. Great defensive play there by Ariana Almeida. Scored a goal in this game. Now back on defense trying to keep the lead intact. Got to love what you're seeing from her as the ball is out of bounds. Boxers throw in, and it goes errantly off the defender. 
There's a throw in for Durfee as the ball is fought for down there by Courtney Cabral, among others. It will go out off the boxers thrown in by Cabral as Elizabeth Buckley was there and there is going to be a foul called. Uh, quick kick there by Hannah Souza. Unfortunately, I guess fortunately for her rather, it, the pass didn't get through because McDonald, as usual, uh, was off sides. Doing a good job of getting in behind there, but it's a very fine line that you tell when you're trying to get in, in behind the defender. It's very easy for a defender to take one step up and simply, uh, you know, let you be off sides. Uh, some substitutes here on the near side for Brockton as Durfee throws it in on the far side. Nice run by McDonald, stopped by Ariana Almeida. Lobbed up over to Courtney Cabral, who is met by two Brockton defenders. McDonald looking to get in behind the defender, but would have been offsides yet again. Nice play here. And that was a good looking shot, but boy, Tori Viola saw that the whole way, dropped down to her knees, got her body in front of it. Nice looking save there. For a freshman keeper, you know, this, this is about as good as you can play uh, against a very talented and veteran Durfee team. Love what you're seeing out of her. Uh, if you're at Mir De Silva. Now we're going to get some substitutes in for Brockton. We have Michaela Robinson coming in, Nadia Cordoso coming back in. Uh, and coming off the field for the Lady Boxers is Erica Santos and Amanda Almeida. Going to take a seat here, having a chat with De Silva, probably telling them that he's quite pleased with their effort thus far and it looks like Jen Caruso is over there don't think she's going to be coming back into this one but she's just trying to keep loose that's the mark of a great player always into the game always ready to come back in should the coach need her uh, just truly truly a class act over there Caruso and what a night she had with the four goals uh, has been sitting now for for a bit and uh, and deservedly so uh, I should say Durfee uh, on the near side here, throwing the ball in, getting it into Jordan Govin, who tries to kick it to the middle, and ooh, nice, uh, that, was, uh, that was a nice sportsmanship play there by Mackenzie O'Reilly, knocked down the defender, or sorry, the offender, uh, Hannah Souza, and then helped her back up with a handshake. Uh, that's, that's what you like to see, that's true sportsmanship right there. As the ball's kicked in, Buckley heads it out, uh, over there is Souza tries to head it, rather tries to kick it over her head to a McDonald who was there, uh, but the ball just simply trickles out of bounds. And that is all that Turfey will get. Tori Viola with the kick, as usual, calling in Buckley. And look who is coming back into the game with this set of substitutions, none other than the four goal woman herself. Jen Caruso is gonna come back into this game, ladies and gentlemen. I think she's going for some sort of record here as McDonald with a nice shot, nice elevated shot there. And Tori Viola, I'll tell you what, for a freshman, she's played some soccer in her life. She is not afraid of the ball. She's not afraid of contact. And she's doing a great job here tonight uh, of keeping Durfee off the board as much as she has already. Oh boy, good defense there to get around the ball and the the hilltopper that's down is Courtney Cabral. She gets up and shakes it off. I'll tell you what, I've fallen on that on that turf down there at Marciano Stadium once or twice in my life. It is not an experience I wish to go back and relive. Uh, as Mulholland takes the ball up past midfield, nice little uh, nice little under and over move as she finds a streaking Michaela Robinson who pulls it back up looking for a shot. Oh, and the one-timer by Jamari Johnson just out of her reach and she's unable to get a foot on it and redirect it. Really, really nice play there by Michaela Robinson as she streaked up the left side, got the through ball, continued to run with it, and on the run found Jamari Johnson cutting through the middle of the field, but the pass just a bit too outside. As 11 minutes and 15 seconds left in the second half here, six to one boxers as Durfee pushes it up the field with Alex Belanger uh, and cut off at the pass. Uh, by the lady boxer defense, including Maria Del Pico, who gets the ball up to Michaela Robinson. Now she gets it off to Mole Holland, who, boy, that was a nice move. Pass from the right to the left foot, and then sneak the pass up the side to Caruso with the left, 
God, you really like to see that footwork. This is really a tremendous display by the lady boxers here. Uh, and they were keep doing a bit of keep away there for the for a second uh, before the ball was stolen from Janae Silva. Now back with Lara Andretti, uh, who finds Mulholland up there. And now we have Robinson sneaking in the back. Good defense there from the Hilltoppers as Mallory, Mallory Forcier uh, was able to step in front of that ball and shield Robinson from it. Uh, and kicks the ball away out of bounds to safety. Uh, and Jen Caruso is going to take a corner kick from the far side here. Uh, if last time she took a corner is any indication, this will be a nice ball as well. Uh, Durfee would do best to defend the middle of the field and keep their heads up, try and clear this ball. Uh, Caruso instead goes out to the outside where she finds a cross. Uh, we'll call that a shot, actually, uh, from Tiana Brooks, who just checked into the game. Good-looking shot, but uh, squarely on the keeper and a pretty easy save there for Shaylin Carrero of the Hilltoppers. Now Lara Andretti uh, gives it up uh, over to Nadia Cardoso. And she has it taken away from her from McDonald with a nice little give-and-go there. McDonald going up the field, and boy, she falls hard after a good defensive play there from Elizabeth Buckley. Give her credit. She took a really hard hit there from Buckley and popped right back up off the turf. This is, this is quite a fierce defender despite the score and the lack of time left on the clock. She is continuing to push. Uh, you love to see that if you're the coach for the Durfee Hilltoppers with a nice ball uh, inside, perhaps deflected a little bit by a lady boxer defender. Nonetheless, uh, zero issue for Tori Viola as she is able to corral it and kicks it back out to midfield uh, to the waiting Ari Sylvia, who's now back in the game too. Uh, she works the ball around. She's got a, she's got a defender. She's got to be careful about offsides. Looks like it's on, and it is not, alas. Good thought there on the pass to Michaela Robinson on the far left side. She's been streaking up that way. Uh, but alas, the pass from Sylvia, she's got a, she had a defender uh, in front of her, and uh, the ball was offsides as Durfee takes it back the other way with Jordan Govin. Uh, she takes a nice touch pass. Boy, on the run here, blowing by defenders. Got a woman in the middle, shoots. Oh, and she misses. Oh, that is a crushing blow if you're Durfee. That was a beautiful run down the right side of the field. Probably should have passed it to the middle where she had an offensive teammate waiting for an easy one-timer. Decided to take the shot on her own, and it sailed wide right of Tori Viola. And now for a goal kick here by Tiana Brooks. Uh, Brooks to kick the ball up to midfield to the waiting Lara Andretti, uh, who now controls the ball, has it taken away from her from McDonald, who is all over the field. It's really hard to pinpoint what her position is. She's been playing left wing, right wing, uh, you know, center striker. This girl has been all over the field, really doing it all for the Hilltoppers. As there's a nice move down the side there by Mindy Ferreira. Uh, but the ball is intercepted in the middle of the field and gotten back out as it's now controlled by Durfee and Courtney Cabral. Uh, and Ari Sylvia there with a good defensive play, tiptoeing along the sidelines. Find Caruso on a run. She's on sides. She's got Robinson streaking down the left side, moving towards the goal. Little right to left, little dipsy doodle. She shoots. Oh, what a save there by Shaylin Carrero. You can't ask for anything else. Goalkeeper stayed true to the post. That's exactly where Caruso tried to go. She tried to short side her, and it was not to be. Good save there by Shaylin Carrero, and Caruso's going to take it back out here on the near side for a Brockton corner kick. 6.35 left in the second half, 6-1 to one boxers. Caruso readies. Here's the ball into the middle. Getting there. Not ahead on it yet, and good defense there by Durfee. Balls popped up in the air as Robinson's fighting for it. Mulholland comes in, and Ari Sylvia actually got a shot off on that, but Durfee was able to corral the ball, and it is kicked out of bounds by Mallory Forcier on the far side. Uh, inadvertent tip there by Robinson. Not sure that's exactly what she was trying to control it, but it tips off her leg, and it will be a throw-in for Durfee as the player chases down the ball. Well, that's unfortunate. The ball girl's down the other side. Durfee's wasting precious time now. Uh, 
to be perfectly honest with you, doesn't look as though they're quite concerned with getting this throw in uh, in any particular hurry as it's now in there. Uh, but that, that took quite a long time. Uh, you know, given the score and the lack of time left in the game, you would think that uh, there would be a little uh, hustle on Durfee's part. And unfortunately uh, for them, there was not. Uh, perhaps the reality of this game is starting to sink in with them as Brockton just continues to push. Sylvia gets it up to Caruso. Caruso back to Sylvia with a nice play. Looking up, she's got Janae Silva, who is met head on by a Durfee defender, trying to control it along the sidelines and simply cannot. Uh, you got to give credit there to Sydney Silva uh, of the Durfee Hilltoppers. That was a good defensive play when it looked like uh, Brockton would be threatening yet again uh, as there's a goal kick by the Hilltoppers defensively for Brockton out of bounds with it is Lara, Lara Andretti uh, there's an inbounds by Durfee as chasing from behind there is Alexis Anselmo looks like she's alright apparently uh, shaking off the injury earlier boy pretty aggressive play there from Emily Furtado Shoving Caruso in the back, that's going to result uh, in a free kick for the boxers. Obviously some frustration boiling over for the Hilltoppers as the game is starting to get away from them a little bit. Uh, nice, in, nice kick down there to Caruso, who's now double teamed in the corner. Girls with hands all over, finds a way to get past them and out of trouble. Gets it to the center to Maria Del Pico with a good kick yet out of bounds to the left-hand side, and that is going to be a goal kick for Shaylin Carrero. Just under four minutes left in the second half, Boxers six, Hilltoppers one. As Durfee looks to kick the ball up the field, a strong kick from the defender over there, Mulholland for the Boxers, corrals it on the far side of the field, uh, giving it back. Good patience as in the beginning of the game with the Brockton Boxers and of course the announcer's curse comes into play as soon as I say that they give the ball away but now back on the run with Sylvia. Oh, Sylvia had the ball taken away from her boy. She had Robinson out on the far side and Caruso on the near side. Those are two very quick ladies to contend with if you're Durfee uh, and to the tune of four goals and uh, a near fifth for Robinson. Uh, that, that has been quite a formidable front line for the Lady Boxers and one going forward if you're Admir Silva that you would probably like to keep together uh, as long as the bench is able to withstand having all that talent out on the front lines. Uh, as the Lady Boxers kick it down, Caruso giving chase as always. Boy, this girl does not get tired. She is well conditioned. Tries to pull a nice, nice little move there, but give credit to uh, the defender, Minnie Ferreira. Uh, who made a nice play to keep the ball in front of her and uh, was able to kick it away from Caruso, who is now waiting for the throw-in from Tiana Brooks. Uh, Aaron throw-in tips to the middle to Mulholland uh, and headed on there by Maria Del Pico, who's always in the action. Ari Sylvia now working, working the left side. Has Robinson, defender on her. Robinson looking to go back to Sylvia, intercepted by the Hilltoppers. Uh, Jen Caruso, nice body, nice way to shield her body there. Gets it into the middle for Janae Silva. Back to Caruso. Caruso looking to get it to the middle. Ends up doing that. The shot comes off low, a little bit weak off her left foot, and that is an easy save for Shaylin Carrero. And back for the Durfee girls as we near the end of the game here. Uh, we are currently in stoppage time. Not sure how long is left, but you will hear the whistle undoubtedly as Elizabeth Buckley goes back and now hands it off to uh, Yasmina Teixeira for the throw in. Mulholland there on the far side. Durfee able to steal it with McDonald. McDonald racing down the right side. Gets by Buckley, but Buckley was able to slow her up just enough so that the second defender could get in there. McDonald back on the ball. Boy, she is getting triple teamed by the Lady Boxers, and for good reason. Uh, she has been the main threat for the Hilltoppers this evening, uh, and Brockton has done a good job to corral her thus far, uh, keeping her obvious skills in check as Durfee gets it to the middle there with an attempted kick, really just sort of whiffed on it, and now Mulholland comes back out as Brockton doesn't quite have numbers, but they 
are unable to, in fact, get anything from that as Mulholland kicks it to the Durfee defense. And now Durfee's back in their attacking zone looking for McDonald. And good play by Buckley to step in front of that. She had McDonald right on her back. Probably wasn't sure exactly where she was, but was able to fight it off. Nice play there from Mulholland. Looked like she was going to play that ball and then just sort of let it go through her legs. Very nice move. Cardo Caruso up there. Oh, and good defense, boy. Great defense by Durfee. That looked like it was sure to be number five for Jen Caruso. And a little shaken up on the play is Jada Vidinha. Uh, good defensive play down there by Vidinha on Caruso, who has been an absolute terror for the Hilltoppers all night. Uh, and she was able to give her a little taste of her own medicine. Janae Silva kicks it at the keep. And that is corralled by Carrero as this game is moving towards completion. Kick out by uh, Carrero there. And McDonald, as always, in the mix of things, looking to make a run out of this uh, as her teammate controls the ball and tries to get it back up. Nice little run there as McDonald was coming in behind looking for the ball. And now going up with it is Alexis Anselmo. And she gets knocked to the turf, but she's back up with the ball. Boy, Durfee is really going after it. A little frustration here that they're not getting the calls, but give credit to Brockton for playing aggressive but sound defense as Ari Sylvia uh, gives a little shove to Hannah Souza, and she goes down, boy. The physicality of this Lady Boxers team cannot be understated. Uh, they have the finesse, they have the speed, and they clearly have the power uh, to play with, uh, really, I think, any of the teams in this big three. Uh, we'll see New Bedford High uh, coming up uh, after they play Ursuline this coming week. Uh, and then it's back, uh, back to Durfee. And there is the final whistle. This game is officially in the books. The Lady Boxers win it 6-1 to one over the Durfee Hilltoppers. Unbelievable game for Jen Caruso as she scores four goals. Jamari Johnson and Ariana Almeida add one each for the Lady Boxers. And Isabel McDonald for the Durfee Hilltoppers has the lone tally to keep a zero off the board. Great start in the division for Brockton. They look poised to have a successful season in the big three. And that is all. We will be back here in a week or so for the next game. For now, I am Eamon Convey. Thank you very much. One and zero in the division, as we said before, the Durfee Hilltoppers moving to one three and zero on the season. Zero and one in the division, and again, if you're Admir De Silva, if you're Admir De Silva, you have to be happy with this effort. And the Lady Boxers look poised to continue a good season. And again, that is all from Marciano Stadium. I am Eamon Convey. Jay Miller was here with me before. Thank you very much and have a good one.